Hello everybody! Welcome to Something Political's new video. As we are advancing through the Marxist theory in international relations, it is now time to talk about Friedrich Engels, the German socialist philosopher, the closest collaborator of Karl Marx in the foundation of modern communism. If you'd like to have a background information about Marxism and Karl Marx himself before watching this video, you can check out our latest videos from the card that popped up on the upper right corner of this video. So, without any further ado, let's start talking about the second most prominent figure of Marxist ideology in IR. In the book he wrote with Marx, the Communist Manifesto, they called the workers of the world to unite against the capitalist system. Engels also edited the second and third volumes of Marx Das Kapital after his death from his uncompleted manuscripts. Engels was accepted as the authority of Marxist ideology after Karl Marx's death. Engels shared Marx's ideas about industrial revolution and how it expanded and accelerated capitalism thanks to the extensive use of steam power replacing manpower. He also argued that the capitalist accumulation was driving the major capitalist countries towards colonial expansionism. According to Engels, Mechanisms such as searching for raw materials to use in production, the quest for new markets because of overproduction and overaccumulation of the capital were main reasons of the colonial expansionism. Basically, for production, capital states needed raw materials and when they did not have those materials, they started looking for places where they can find such materials to exploit their resources for production. After acquiring the raw materials, these states produced their products in massive amounts which led to overproduction and in the end they had to find new markets to sell their overly produced products. This way they could maximize their profits. Lastly, the overaccumulation of capital led to an obligatory export of capital. Sometimes the capitalists needed to carry their capital to other territories via for instance, for indirect investment. According to Friedrich Engels, the inter-imperialist rivalry is the main cause of war. Imperialists compete with each other to colonize as much as possible and such competition results in war. Just look at the World War I and tell Engels that he was wrong. So that brings us to the end of this very short video about Friedrich Engels. We will continue with three other prominent figures of the classical Marxist theory, Vladimir Lenin, Rosa Luxemburg, and Leon Trotsky in our next video. If you liked this video, please do not forget to like it, and for our other videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.